Hi everyone, welcome to another County Com one take video. <laughs> one take, one chance to show you what's cool today. This is the Reaction Titanium Carbon Fiber Knife. Let me get it there, good for you. Uh, sharper than heck and I just felt it across my fingers and we're good, okay. Um, okay, razor sharp, yes, I believe that, I can feel that, I, was, I picked it up wrong. Um, D2 steel blades, um, we're a fan of D2, we like tool steel, we like very rugged, rough, hard uh, metal that's gonna hold an edge, and D2 does that. And there it is. Oh, look at that. While we're, while we're zooming in like that, let me just focus on that if I can. It says 412 slash 1000. This is knife 412 out of only 1000 pieces made. Um, this is going to be one of those, uh, those, uh, one and done quick videos. I don't expect this video to be around very long because a thousand pieces are going to fly out of here pretty quickly. This was a, uh, a knife that we were supposed to be showing at the shot show, but unfortunately our attendance was canceled. You know, another COVID, uh, sucks. Anyway, re it's called the reaction. Very, very small. Oh, shoot. Let's talk about how small it is. Let me get my dimensions out here for you. And you can see that I've been doing some sewing. So let's see. What are we at? Handle length. Do, do, do. About three inches. What are we saying here? Yep, they were telling me three inches. Width at the hardest, widest part of the handle is two, about two inches. I, you know, I think you guys will agree with me. Blade. What? How long is this blade? And I usually hilt to tip, and what's that? Two and a quarter. What? Did, 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 did. They call it blade length two point eight five. I think. I think that's either mistaken, or they're doing some strange measuring here. Yeah, if they measure pivot to here, but you know what? That's the blade that counts in my book. Let's call that two and a quarter inches, just a hair over two and a quarter. Okay, so that's that's uh, that's that. Width, they're saying 0 0.11 inches across the back. Oh, check this out. So carbon fiber handle, all carbon fiber. That's awesome. All carbon fiber. Look at this, all carbon fiber. What do we got here? You know we love titanium. Titanium liner. I'm going to focus in on that if I can. And look, we've got, there's our jibbing. This is called a liner lock because the liner of the knife, I push that over to the left and I bring the knife. I just, just break the plane where it locks and I close that. Okay, biggest question, because I know I had this question when uh, the design team brought this and said, hey, check out this cool knife. I said, yeah, it's really cool, great. And where's the pocket clip? What am I supposed to do? I see you, you gave me a lanyard hole, what, you know, but where do I clip this? Where's the leather case? What's... They said, no, no, no. They explained to me, this fits in the small pocket of your Levi jeans. Um, sometimes it's called the watch pocket. I've heard it called the coin pocket. That tiny little sub pocket, uh, that's where it's made for. So it's meant to, your primary pockets are with your keys and change and you know whatever you've got in there, in there is fine. This is thin and smooth. You know, 0.11 inches, uh, you know, its its job is to be there when you need it. You know, you can carry it clip up, clip down, your choice. I prefer clip down because, you know, I don't want it to, you know, and I don't, it's, it's got a good detent. I don't think it will accidentally open up, but I prefer tip down. Uh, it just makes me feel a little better, you know. So, you know, we talked about carbon fiber, titanium, uh, titanium, li titanium liner lock, carbon fiber handles, front and back, D2 steel. Uh, of course, we, we're using the phosphor bronze. I don't think anybody ever cares about that. But phosphor bronze bearings, this is a quality knife. Um, weight, oh, yeah, weight, that's important. Uh, carbon fiber, titanium, D2 st steel. Well, D2 steel, that's, that's a heavy part. <laughs> this knife would weigh nothing if it wasn't for that blade, but it does weigh in at 3.3 ounces. So it's small enough, light enough that you can put it in that change pocket 
and you are gonna have this super sharp knife, razor sharp, absolutely uh, unbelievable. Uh, oh, they, they, you know, they're, 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 they're signaling me. I'm supposed to tell you these spacers are stainless steel, uh, 300 stainless steel. Um, they, there was a reason they chose not to do titanium on that. Same thing with the screws that hold it together. And those are torque screws. You know, we can see, oh, look at that in here. Oh, shoot. That little dust particle there. That is, yeah, look at that little dust particle. So look at that beautiful carbon fiber handle. That's, I think it's, I'm getting a really good view of that. And then you can just kind of see the, uh, you know, look at the attention to detail on this thing. This is not a show knife. This was, this is what, number, was it 312, 412? This was number 412 out of 1,000. So this is, oh, see the little dust there, right there? Made that go away. Yeah, this is our one shot, one take video. And uh, you know, we don't really, uh, we just, I just went out in the warehouse and grabbed one. So these will be up and available, I know, very soon. Um, I'm not expecting them to hang around for a long time. So if you would like one, get one. Um, serial, serial numbers. You know what? They're talking about that right now. Um, there's talk about requesting serial numbers. You know, I'm not quite sure if that's going to happen or not. Typically, we don't do that because, you know, somebody's always disappointed. Uh, it's a whole lot of extra work. But, uh, you know what? I see what we can do. So watch, watch the details on the website. We'll see what we can do for you. Uh, Actually, no, I was just told we cannot do select serial numbers. There's a thousand pieces. We'd have to hire somebody just to sort them out. So no, we can't do that. So you will get a serial number that will be less than a thousand, guaranteed. Um, limited also, they're not allowing you to buy. Uh, we've had somebody recently go up on, start buying all of our product and putting it up on eBay or and this is where the problem was. They were uh, buying our product, waiting until we went out of stock, and then reselling it on eBay at exorbitant, exorbitant prices. And we don't just we don't want that. We you know we want everyone to be able to get a really good deal on this at fair price. So uh, we are limiting this to, I'm told three. But like I said, they're developing the website right now as we speak. This video is is your first peek. I hope you enjoyed your first peek. You know, tell a friend. This is one of those uh, secrets that we, you know, tell a friend. Um, and, but get your, get your order in as soon as you can. Uh, God, it's almost an Ulu knife. God, this is just, un can you see that hollow grind? I think I'm getting some really good pictures. Okay, yes, okay. you like, okay. Good, they're saying give you another picture of the blade. I'm gonna just refocus. I refocus. I don't think I can hold it steady enough is the problem. Look at that. Look at that D2. Love the D2 steel. If it's, if it's good enough to machine aluminum and our, our uh, metal products, hey, it, that's, that's going to hold an edge. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. We'll, ah, see, it's a one-take video. That was the, the uh, quality uh, studio lighting. Just fell. But it's a one take video, you get to see those mistakes. So good. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. Look forward to seeing you in our next one. Until next time, stay safe, be alert.